Uh, now explore these uh, buttons uh, one by one. Uh, as you see, the first uh, button is uh, a sidebar. So based uh, based on what scenario do you use? You can use it in different ways. Uh, okay, uh, let me show you some scenarios that you can use sidebar. For example, you can use it uh, to display on the left side of your page, the left side of your dashboard, uh, the country list. If you choose any country, if you click on any country, so the information about the COVID uh, inform related information of that country will be displayed, uh, will be shown to you on a map. So let's do that. So give it a title. You can say sidebar. Okay, minimize it. The description, we don't need a description. Text color, okay, this white, white is okay. Background and side over panel, that's good. It will give you a button. You can close and open your sidebar. Okay, done. Now this is your sidebar. If you click on this button, it will be opened. Then it will close once you click on that. Okay, let's uh, display the list of the countries here. Hover over this uh, menu. Click on Add Category Selector. So, click on Group Values. Choose one of your layers that you have, for example, the Death. So, based on that layer, it will, it will give you information uh, of the countries. So, I want to display, for example, here, not the states. I want to display the country. So the countries, how many countries you want to display uh, the maximum, maximally. So for example, 200 countries or any countries that you want. In our case, 200 is enough. So it will be ascending. First, Afghanistan will be displayed. And at the end, we will have the Zayt, Zimbabwe and these countries. So you can sort that. Do you want to give a level? Yeah, I want a list of what? List of countries okay so it's better to choose this one as well the none so I don't want to, to display the information based on a country so none means display all the whole information about the whole countries that we have and uh, in order to in order the information to be displayed you need to go to this button as well, action, a target. It means if you click any country here, for example, Uzbekistan or any country, so you need, uh, the information should be displayed here. You need to go to the add target. So I want to show the debt information and the cases information, country-based information and state-based information. So based on what? Uh, attribute you want to filter based on country, country based, and country based. Click on done. Now you have the list of the countries. So I want to show the information the COVID 19 cases in Afghanistan. So here it will give you uh, information about Afghanistan only. You can click it. Close this one and check out about Afghanistan. So if you want to see information about, for example, Cuba, here is Cuba, here you are. So information will be displayed about a Cuba. Okay, what if I want to display multiple countries, for example, Afghanistan and some other countries, two or three? Yeah, you can do that. Uh, go to the con configuration here selection choose it multiple then now click on Afghanistan which countries do you want to show information of for example China and let's choose uh, which country US for example 
the information of these countries will be displayed and the rest will be hidden. Or you want or you want to show information of one country only a single country go here configuration show this one single that's it only Afghanistan so if you want now you, you if you want to show the rest of the countries so you have the option here at the end oh you don't have the none option so we need to insert the none option as well so here none option click this one so at first yeah it should be displayed at first now if you choose none so the information of the whole countries will be displayed if you want afghanistan yeah afghanistan will be displayed information of us it will be displayed okay now I want I want all the countries like none. Simply save your dashboard. Okay, the second option we have the map legend. Uh, this is information about the map uh, for the confirmed cases, and uh, you can give it a, na a name. For example, map legend. And color and background if based on your preferences so okay simply just make it a little bit smaller map legend so it will show you the information about a map what does what does these dots mean what does this circle mean so the bigger one didn't indicates what and the smaller one and the smallest one indicates what so the user can read and figure it out small means there are fewer number of uh, positive cases and larger means more than this number and more than this figure uh, make it a little bit smaller and save your map now you can open your sidebar close it and as well as you have your map legend.